you so much for inviting me. And I'd like to thank Socialist Alliance for organizing and supporting Palestine. Um, I'd like first to update the latest news from Gaza. Uh, perhaps you know now we have around 3,000 martyrs and around uh, 1,000 children have been killed by Israel. This is the latest news in from Gaza. And still, Israeli occupation continue its decision to cut the power, medicine, food, and water. And still, I am not in contact with my family. Three days ago, I called my family. They said, we don't have enough water, we don't have enough food. So the situation is so terrible then, and I am trying to call them, but I haven't succeeded yet. Besides, I'd like to confirm that now we have many matters under the distractions, under the rebels, the the ambulances couldn't able to rescue people. The smell of these dead bodies started in in Gaza. People start to smell that, which is terrible. And perhaps will be another crisis in environment. Also, there are a lot of martyrs, but Ministry of, Edu of Health couldn't able to recognize the people but they don't have enough place. They put them at the beginning in the truck of ice cream because the fridges of hospitals are full. After that, they decided to make big grave for all these martyrs, but we don't know the names of them. This is another tragedy. And um, I am trying to reflect the situation as I live most of my life in Gaza, and I'd like to read a message or email from a friend and activist in Gaza. He, his name is Muhammad Saleh. He visited uh, Sydney like four years ago. He is the organizer of Nippers program in Gaza. And I couldn't call him because the situation is not easy and he sent a message or a letter to our groups. He said, to my friends, I hope you had and your family and your family are all fine. So if some English is not clear, I will explain according to what he wrote, I will read. We are dying here in Gaza. There is no safe places to go. We try to find one. Yes. I want to explain about this. Of course, there is no safe place because Israeli army is lying, saying you can go to south. And when the Palestinians go to south, they bomb and they kill tens of people when they left Gaza to go to the south. And I will explain the dangers of people to go from a place to another. Hamad said, I am still here in my home. I sent my family to other place in Gaza. My kids and wife are in the same situation there. Israel tried to make us refugees again in Yunakba. They think it's a time to succeed in their project to transfer for Palestinian, Palestinians in Gaza. Now they try to force us to go south to Sinai until now, I am still survive. Yes, Muhammad is worried about the policy of transferring of Palestinians to Sinai. This is not just only ethnic cleansing. It's about colonial project. It's, it's old and new project together, because after 1948, when Israel occupation invaded or Zionist uh, groups invaded Palestine, 
and there was ethnic cleansing, there were refugees. So how we can, they were asking, how we can eliminate from Palestinians, they think it is good idea to uh, transfer refugees to Arab countries mm -hmm. for uh, trying to liquidate the Palestinian issue. Because if the refugees became Egyptian or Lebanese, then there is no right of return. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is a plan, current pl a plan for alternative of right of return. And in my, after forty, after of 1948, in 1955, they started again. They started bombing Gaza to push people to uh, transfer them from Egypt to Sinai. But because of the people in Gaza resisting this project, and this project failed, despite Jamal Abdel Nasser, he was one of the most famous leaders accepted this project in Egypt, Egypt and America, and the United uh, and the United Nations. They accepted this uh, project. It is long story. I will not talk so much about the history, but it's so dangerous. We should understand the situation in Palestine in historical context. So it is ethnic cleansing. What is happening now? They said it's good opportunity. This explains why they cut the water. Besides, they are criminals, but why they cut uh, power, medicine, water, all that? Because Palestinian is not easy to leave, so they find we can bomb them and they will have a problem and be forced to go to Egypt. It's still, the situation is so dangerous. We are in one of the most dangerous situation in the history of Gaza. Mm -hmm. I will continue his message. Now they try to for, uh, force us to go south to Sinai. Until now, I am still survive. OK, I will not dis describe to you the conditions here in Gaza. The bodies and injuries <coughs> are in the streets, and Israel bombing, and civil defense vehicle ambulances cannot arrive. They are not bombing house or building, but they bombing entire neighborhood, including building residents. I believe that the news is conveyed to you through the channels and the media. Okay. Of course, he describes the situation. I know that situation. I, I remember when I was in Gaza what is the situation look like, but this is different this time. Because even people when they escaped from Gaza City or in the north to south, there is no roads, destroy every roads. Mm. And what you are seeing, you are a smell of blood everywhere. Mm. It's terrible. You can see like dead bodies everywhere. Funeral everywhere, people are crying, shouting. No, if you want to bring water, you need like one day in order to have a gallon of water. This is, if you find water. So it is really a genocide. When we want to say about genocide, some people think, no, how do you describe this the genocide? No, I can't say genocide. Genocide means nation wanted to eliminate from another nation. So when they wanted to push us, and they said that, we, want, we don't want Palestinians to be in Gaza, we want them to go to Egypt. And they kill us, killing, pushing us to leave, bombing. This means elimination, this means a genocide. This is another genocide, this is another elimination of the indigenous people. And they exploited, as I said, the situation. Okay, there is no electricity, Okay, water has been cut off, communication began to collapse, there has been internet since second day, I will not leave Gaza. He said, I will not leave Gaza, I will not repeat my grandfather's experience when he left historic Palestine in 1948, and neither he nor generation, including me, we able to return after 75. I will stay here, we will either die or our land or live in, with our dignity. I won't ask you anything, just raise our voice or my voice. Best regards. This is what Muhammad said. 
the message is clear. He described the situation, and he said Palestinians will never um, leave Gaza. Palestinians will resist the colonialism and occupation. This is the main ideas or the main points of his message. So it is important to talk about what Muhammad said. Sometimes we don't need to analyze. It is good to hear from the people themselves what they are saying, how to describe the situation, talk about experience. Okay. Now I am trying to talk about the situation in general, especially about position of Australia. Honestly, the situation about uh, the position of Australia is so bad, negative, mm -hmm. terrible. And they said we support Israel. And they said Israel has the right to defend itself. That's not the true at all. As long as Israel attacking and or occupied another country, they don't have the right to, to claim it defends itself. If it defends itself by killing its children and bombing houses, bombing hospitals, this doesn't mean a right of defense. Mm. So we should respect people, respect our mentality. That's not good to say that and people accept these claims. Mm. This first. Second, they said, um, this what happened in Palestine, that Hamas, attacked Israel and killed civilians, cut the heads of the children. Mm. This is not true. The formal position of Hamas, I am not talking, I am not the representative of Hamas, I am analyzing the situation according to the evidence. Hamas, the formal position, Hamas said, we don't kill civilians, and supported these claims by videos and by evidence that they were uh, treating civilians in good way. So even when Biden said they killed the children and cut their, then the later, I think some of his team said this is not true and this fake videos. Hmm. Okay, let's see what happened in Palestine. When Israel as a state, it's colonial state, but it's a state, it started with the plan of ethnic cleansing, of killing civilians, and they said, we will kill the Palestinians. And they said, civilians have responsibility about what happened. And they punished Palestinians. It was collective punishment. Mm -hmm. Killed thousands of people. And they said, Palestinians in Gaza are animals. Mm -hmm. And they have deliberate plan for continue its policy of killing Palestinians. Mm. Despite of that, Australia and other Western countries didn't condemn these actions. And they said, Israel defend itself. Yes, we had many rallies, we had many events, we from and other groups sent emails, letters opposing this position but I think this is not enough. I think we should discuss what can we do, because this is dangerous when Australia take like this decision. This decision is, contra it is a contradiction of international law, mm. contradiction of United Nations resolutions. Mm. Australia should respect its commitments as a part of United Nations. Mm. They and at the same time, contradiction. Labour Party said we want to support indigenous people. At the same time, mm. they don't indigenous people in Palestine. Mm. And another contradiction. They said this land, Palestinian territories, are occupied territories. But at the same time, they didn't say people who are under occupation, they have the right to resist the colonialism. Mm. So yeah. this is contradiction is not enough. It is important to talk about everything in correct context. Mm. We should not like give half of the fact. And I think 
the Islamic community, Arab community should not just send messages. It is important to have position, formal position, and they should not, or they should discuss with Labour Party, we will not support Labour Party if this party don't change its policy. Mm -hmm. The Islamic community, most of the Islamic community, they have one, more than one million voices. So they support Labour Party. They should not give this voice without have commitments of this party to support the human rights in general mm. and support Palestine. I wanted to say something. Like one month before the escalation in Palestine, there was a big event in Sydney University. Yes. And Bob Carr, he, won, he is one of the supporters of Palestine. Okay, let's say that. And I know he is trying to do something. But when I asked him, and Khaled asked the same question, but everyone asked in a different way. For me, I am talking about international law, any principle. Mm -hmm. Khaled was talking about resistance in general. Mm -hmm. I agree with him. But when he said that illegal settlements, illegal occupation, so in principle, do you, I asked him, do you support Palestinian right of resistance? Then he answered something is not in this context. And he said, no, we don't, no, he said, we don't support violence. We don't support, uh, despite I didn't say about violence, I am talking in principle, you support according United Nations resolutions or not. Mm. And I also, I, am, I was talking about the hypocrisy about Western countries when they support the resistance in Ukraine, but they don't support the Palestinians. This is another contradiction, another, also this uh, hypocrisy. But why I am talking about this story? I am talking about this story. From this night, I realized Palestinians and supporters and Islamic and Arabic community should think how we can work for Palestine. We should not just focus on one option. Mm. It is important to understand the situation because this indicator, if they don't support our right to resist in principle the right of occupation, then I don't think this will be real support. Mm. Because at this time we need, like in principle, support from all the world, we have the right to resist occupation. Because now, why Israel is bombing, killing? Because they said, we are fighting against terrorism. But this is justification. We know that's just, just justification. But the problem, the Western country beat this justification, this excuse of killing thousands of people and thousands and thousands. So now, we have like some initiative to think now how we can activate how we can activate Palestinian solidarity movement in uh, in Sydney at least and we should have and to think about the priorities mm. and we will declare something soon about that so this is what I am saying sorry for if I am talking about <laughs> As Australian citizen, I cannot feel I am citizen anymore. Last two weeks, it was very hard for us to deal with uh, this government and the uh, New South Wales Parliament. We don't feel we are equal. First things, regarding to about Australian citizen in Israel that been asked to be in Five Star Hotel and then they come back to Sydney or Melbourne and the government budget. And uh, they are like around 2,000 people. In other way, many of our community in Gaza and West Bank tried to contact the embassy there, and they said, you can go to Jordan and then travel. I don't know how they would go from Gaza to Jordan. <laughs> and then we raised it up with the socialist uh, friends in Beirut. 
to, to, to see to how it will go. And then they went to the uh, embassy there and said, like, it's insecure and there's people dying and even Western journalists, uh, journalists die killed by Israel army. Mm -hmm. And they said, you can go. It's unsafe to, uh, to Australia to stay in Lebanon. You need to go uh, right now to Australia. They said, okay, can you help us by, like, flights or whatever? They said, no, you need to do it by your own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is something, like, we need to know. Second thing is about who's supporting Palestine in Australia. This is raised by the Premier. He said no one here is supporting Palestine. They are all like terrorists. Mm -hmm. And then he said, like, uh, uh, I, 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 we need to light up the Opera House with solidarity yeah. with the Israel death. Yeah. And the same day he said that, we start our campaign to ask the New South Wales Parliament to light up the Opera House with, with Palestinian flag, mm. solidarity with the death in Gaza. Mm. Until now, we are fighting to do that. And it's not easy going, and it's need votes, whatever petition, things, forms. Mm. After what, uh, all these things, like you, they want us to be very peaceful dealing with the, this, what's happening, like unequal rights for the pro-Palestinian, how we who march to, the Opera House. The boys was very angry, very upset, because like they are hearing that, that is, when we go to the rally, we need to go to the lighting area and the police deny our right. The, the, we need to go there, but they, they send us to the stairs. We need to go down where the lighting. And they say, no, there is Israeli with Israeli flag. You are not allowed to go there. And that's make all the people upset and angry. Mm -hmm. It's not our uh, what we decide with the police. We need to go down. And like after that i cannot control the rally we said to the police the rally is finished but the boys was very upset mm -hmm. and they fired the like the opera house with the fire watch and like they didn't throw any things i was there they don't throw anything in the police area we are targeting the opera house we don't we don't have any problem with police like police admits like they don't have power we, and that was crazy the second day, the, the oh, police uh, officer said, like, um, we'll ban any rally for Palestinians. They are a troublemaker. We don't need them to go. Mm -hmm. And they said, who will go for Palestine? 200, 300? I'm telling things. It's like in media. I can send it all the links for you. And we said, we will make the rally. And he said, no, no rally. And the same day, the, the premier went to the uh, Hyde Park and bring 2000 pro Israel, and they said, We all the Australian are represented in this Hyde Park meeting, and we are all doing solidarity with Israel. Hmm. So, we said, We will go to the same place and we'll say, like, who will bring much more Australian citizen to Hyde Park? Premier or the, the pro Palestinian <laughs> groups? <laughs> we brought 7,000 in the same place where the Premier brings just 2,000. Mm. So we are representing the Australian community more than the Premier. That was our message. Second message, like they said, like it's just Palestinian community. You know, like we make call everywhere, even with the Christian community. Some, some, some of them, the Maronianate Mar people, they never come to Palestine. Mm. I called them three times, they said, Khalid, we are coming just for you. They, mm -hmm. they are my friend. And they have signed and they come to the rally. They are Christian, they said, we are peaceful people, we don't like rally. And they come. Mm -hmm. I ask all the community from like, uh, like Asian country, even like from Chinese community, Tipped, all, all my comrade lefties and also the Muslim communities, they all there. Mm. And we send clear message for the New South Wales Parliament saying Palestinian matter is like matter for all people in Australia, more than what the Premier said, and you need to change your position about it. Mm. This is a clear message for, for everyone. We need to have our right to protest, our right for to who's representing Australia. The head of Palestinian, this need to be end. <coughs> <coughs>
there was American, <coughs> American Zionist enter home of Palestinian in Illinois, like close to Chicago, and kill little kids with 17 put in his, his 17 time by knife, kill him in, in, in the home. And then nothing by biting. And what he said after uh, after we are we are now mer like taking the kids to the graveyard, he said, "I will send two thousand uh, American soldiers to Gaza mm. to free the the oh. what he call it hostage. We don't have hostage. Mm. We don't take them from America. They've been in like like uh, they've been in Israel settlement and Israel like police." And or, or Israel army, and most of them army. Mm. I, I don't know Hamas, they, are, they didn't arrest any civilian. Some other group maybe arrest civilian, but Hamas, they didn't arrest any civilian. I know that. Mm. So where is the, what mean like, what's, what is the mean of being Australian? What's the mean of being citizen in Western country? If there's people entering our home, killing our kids. Mm. What's the mean like, we, we don't have the right to, 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 to protest or to speak. It's very hard even to speak. Like it's, mm. it's, there is no balance. We don't feel there is balance. Mm. If they want to say it like Palestine, what is Palestine? Palestine is matter for all socialist group. It's matter for all, all the, all the pro-Palestinian groups. It's not about Muslim and Arab, no. It's bigger than this. It's occupation and people believe it's occupation and we need, Political solution for this. Yeah, we are lo we are we are very sorry about what happening for the loss of people dying in Gaza, but those people they they didn't understand just resistance. Netanyahu said he will enter Gaza Sunday night. So far he didn't enter. He asked for American soldier to support. Why? Do you think we are like heroes? No. They are chicken. They don't want. They don't want to lose bodies. They are scared. Uh, w what we are doing now, like talking with, yeah, which flag you are carrying? Iran flag not allowed. Hamas flag not allowed. Why not allowed? Mm -hmm. Can I know what's not? Why not allowed? Mm -hmm. Iranians they are having embassy here. Why not is uh, not allowed? Hezb tahrir Why not it allowed? It's they have like certification, and you give them permission to do rally in Lakemba. Why not to come to our rally? Why you want to make our rally just like few people going? I know many people, they say, if we will not have our flag, we will not come in. Iranian people, they told me, we need our flag with us. Mm. Iraqi people, when I talk with them, they, they, they've been like around, around 500 in, uh, in Opera House. I told them, do not bring your flag. They said, listen, no, without our flag, we are not coming. Mm. The police, like the police doing restriction for our rally, never been happy. I never t said to anyone, put your flag down. Why are you there with solidarity with Palestine? We are welcoming anyone. Raise your flag. Tamil or whatever, like Kurdish, whatever groups coming, we are always welcoming them. Why not allow for other people to raise their flag in Palestinian rally? I don't know, just that's it, like for me, and hopefully we will continue our <coughs> fighting here. And like, uh, I know like all the Socialist Alliance was there, and we will keep there, and we will keep rallying for Palestine. With permission, without permission, I will keep fighting for Palestine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>